we go. Um, Mark, MaydayHandymanServices.com um, Got this little toilet seat repair job I'm doing right now. And uh, it's uh, of the soft clothes variety. I'll show you. Like that. Now, as I've discovered, um, what it was is that the toilet seat itself was was loose and, and wobbling around and uh, it had previously been siliconed because well I'm assuming the last handyman or handy person to have a look at it um, that's just the old silicon residue on that one there but uh, they came to have a look at it and thought oh shit and bugger I kind of get under the back of the bowl and unscrew these etc etc because they weren't familiar with the uh, the type of fixing. Now, uh, with these, they are top mounted with these screws here. Uh, so all you have to do is take the toilet seat off, which is on this particular one. It's got a clip down the back here. in there that's a little pushy button once that's fitted on the toilet it's you know it's it sits outward so you can just dip your hand in flip it pull the toilet seat off and then take the covers off and you've got access to the screws this one here I've already secured back into place so the seat isn't going to wobble and um, right so this one all I really needed to do was clean it down thus so Initially, this is just a, a, a bit of windowing of all things. Um, get rid of it's all I could find around the, this fella's house, but it seems to have uh, done the job. Just get rid of all the old greasy gunginess, um, which was causing it to swivel in the first place. Just clean that up, make sure it's nice and dry, and then from there, it's just a case of cleaning up these parts in the same manner now I parked uh, quite a distance away and I thought I'd have a look at the job first and see what sort of tools I might need etc I didn't know anything about the job when I came I just knew it was a toilet seat issue so I left everything in the van the van's a million miles away and a bunch of flights of stairs through some corded doors etc etc so save a bit of time had a little nosy in this uh, this fella's kitchen and I found one of these you got old common or garden um, multi-attachment screwdriver malark guess what I'm managing to get, a, get away with doing this whole job using just that a bit of toilet paper and some windling so there you go. Right. So straighten that rubber back up in there. So that's all cleaned down off there. Get that cleaned up. So okay. simply just clean it up. Ding, ding, ding. It's nice and dry. Same with this bit. Clean that up, make sure that's nice and dry. Get rid of all the gunge that was on there in the first place. Ding, ding. And then just a simple case of taking my little washer type of thing, fitting that into. in there, lovely. And back on there. And it's still a bit uh, it's a bit it's a little bit wet one there. Screw, 
the screwdriver. Screw it back down. Left-handed. Mad skills. You got mad skills, man. Basically, I'm just screwing it as tight as it will possibly do. Plastic, so it was going to be a, a little plain active before it was like, whew, whew. Um, now it's not champion job done, easy peasy. Friday, sun is shining, time for a beer, man. And that was that. 